Welcome back to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. You're back. I'm back. In the flesh. <laughs> Survived. Magic of radio. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you just like showed up in the break. You radio should... <laughs> is magic now? I don't know if I can be involved in magic. I'm, uh, I don't know about that. Glad to be back in the studio and uh, glad to have the chance to talk just for a, a couple of minutes, a few minutes with Peter Slayton, social media manager for the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. The 67th regular convention of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod is approaching. That's coming up um, later in July. The uh, Well, we've got the LCMS National Youth Gathering coming up before that, but then the convention's coming up, what, the 19th? Is that right? The 19th through the 23rd, somewhere around there? I should know that you should. since my entire <laughs> life revolves around that event right now, but it's kind of just this blob of time in the future that is slowly marching towards me. Yeah. <laughs> the 20th through the 25th. Uh, I have an airplane ticket. It'll get me there. You'll show up. You have as long reminders. as I'm at the airport at the right time, that's what matters. <laughs> the 20th through the 25th. I should know this, too, because I'm announcing it. <laughs> <So>. Seriously, dude. <laughs> um, it's on the calendar. Welcome back, Andy. Welcome. I just want to know if we've ever had irregular conventions. Well, I was, yeah, I was just wondering that, too. So there, there are, if I remember correctly, there are occasionally like special conventions that are that have been called, but I don't know. if they, Not in I, recent in history, right. I don't in, think. Yeah. But, no, yeah. You should have Secretary Sias on. I bet he would be able to answer Ooh, that he question. Does, he comes in from time to time. Yeah. We talk all things conventional from time to time. Yep. Um, he'd, be, he'd probably be able to tell you about any irregular ones. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday announced the uh, results of the, the synodical president election. Yep. That was yesterday. Yep. President Harrison has been reelected. For a fourth term. For a fourth mm-hmm. term. Yep. And, uh, and so then uh, the next step then, now that, uh, and this all changed with one of the the more recent conventions, the election of the president. Yeah, 2010, I think, is when it changed. And then last convention was the first one where the president was elected before convention. Mm-hmm. Um, that that process started changing in 2010, I think was made official in 2013. But last time was the first 2016 election was the first time it was done all online before convention with the, the presidential election. Mm-hmm. So. So that uh, so that all begins the the, the convention begins the the twentieth and how are we going to stay on top of what's going on and, and there's a lot that happens at we, convention there too. there is a lot and we have a whole bunch of different ways for you guys to do that so the if if you can't remember anything else just remember this website lcms dot org slash convention everything is there like literally everything so uh, everything else we talk about if you can't remember anything else just remember lcms.org slash convention from there you'll be able to find the live stream there there will be a link to the live stream or even a live stream right there on that page links to our social media accounts where we will be covering this there are links to all the resolutions everything that will be discussed um, all the special presentations all of that is right there on that website and now if you if you want to know about social media we actually do have facebook and twitter dedicated to convention things so lc uh, up facebook.com slash lcms convention and twitter.com slash lcms convention those are both the places where you can follow on social media those are exclusively for convention things Mm -hmm. um there actually have been things throughout the last three years that are convention related so they they don't die entirely in between conventions they get kind of quiet (laughs) they get they get quiet definitely um they kind of go a little bit dormant but there there are things that get posted announcements and stuff like that but during convention if you're on twitter especially which our Twitter account is public, so even if you're not on Twitter, you can see everything just by going there. We will be live tweeting everything that happens, every resolution, every result of every resolution, as much as I can tweet the gist of some of the discussions that happen, because sometimes you'll have times where there's a half hour of discussion going on. I'll do my best to report on on what's going on with that, but um, that's on the convention twitter account i'm not putting everything on the lcms facebook account the the regular ones will be kind of doing their normal regular thing that they always do and then highlights Mm -hmm. will go over there but lcms.org slash convention lcms convention on twitter and lcms convention on facebook are the official places and everything will be on the twitter account and everything is on the website (laughs) (laughs) 
Um, what about uh, live stream? What what will be live streamed? Yeah, so the general sessions will be live streamed. The uh, worship sessions will also be live streamed. They will not all be archived. Mm. Um, all the general sessions will be archived to view later. The worship times, uh, the divine service, and the devotional times that we're having will be live streamed, but because of copyright, we can't mm -hmm. archive all of that, but you'll get the majority of it there. But once again, you can find that lcms.org slash convention. We'll tell you how to get to those places, too. Peter Slayton, Social Media Manager for the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. Thank you so much for You're very welcome. joining us for a very brief <laughs> Yeah, this was hour. short, man. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee Hour with Andy and Sarah is a production of KFUO. To support the Coffee Hour and KFUO Radio, visit KFUO.org. You can also text KFUO to 41444 or send an email to gifts at KFUO.org. And you can call us at 800-844-0524. KFUO. Christ for you anytime, anywhere.